Hey guys, Fast from X Force uh, here again with uh, uh, a nice gel blaster, I reckon, uh, the MK23. Now, this guy was one of the first ones to be basically anti gravity or mag fed, as some would call. Um, this is a pistol that was brought out, I think, around the 90s. Um, in the real world and it was a very rugged piece and now for the gel blasters we have to obviously go a little bit different here they it's not as I, what I would call a proper mag fed um, they use these magazine here so it's not in the actual handle um, but this guy does all right anyway let's have a look so what it does it shoots your seven eight uh, mill uh, gels um, uh, so you get a few of them your safety some really dorky safety and your uh, charger now the battery on this guy is absolutely tiny so if you're gonna go out have a bit of a shoot uh, you're gonna probably want one or two of these uh, extras in your pack. Other than that, um, on, off, switch. All right, so it's a nice little, it's good to have a safety. All right, your magazine, that's basically slides on and off. And it's got a nice little picture of a skull on there, which is a bit of a punisher. Uh, Alright, so. You can see in there, that little front bit there is what you uh, load your uh, bullets, your ammo, your gel balls, whatever you want to call them. And capacity is a bit, uh, I'd say around the 50 gel balls, not the best. Uh, but look you can actually buy these separate so it's good to have you know if you're gonna go out you could have at least about you know an extra two or three other than that it uses i believe it the battery is a 7.4 uh, and it's got the blowback feature so Again, same like a few of the other ones, your Glocks and all the rest, um, USBs. So, otherwise, I've got two colors here. Um, this desert or yellowish, uh, and the white and black. White and black looks quite nice, uh, but I'll use this uh, desert one at the uh, Less likely to get a little bit dirtier. Alright, so all in all, look, it's quite solid. Well built. Uh, the handle on that feels really sturdy. Uh, it's not a, There's not a lot of little bits and pieces on it, so... I can't see it, too many things going wrong with it. Uh, the, the slide at the top is, slides quite easily. Um, like I said, all in all, I don't know, I'm sure there's guys out there that probably had it for a little while now. And I haven't heard too many issues with this model. So, I'd say it'd be a pretty decent blaster. But, I think the range test will say uh, how good it is. So, let's go out there and uh, give it a bit of a whack, eh? Alright, so back at the range here. And, got our 17 meter target. Let's see how this fella goes with a little bit of breeze. Yeah, fire rate is quite impressive. Um, and uh, yeah, the distance is a bit of a letdown, I gotta say. The 17 meter doesn't quite, quite get there properly. And. Um, it, uh, when it did stop, it stopped a little bit on an angle. 
but you see this button here it um, so it didn't quite stop right uh, back in its now if you press this button here it moves back into place All right so that's not a bad little feature I know the Glock G17 had a problem with that sometimes, especially if it was something went wrong. But, like I said, the fire rate is quite impressive. Range, I'd say probably about 15 meters, quite decent. Anything after that, uh, it drops. And um, all in all, otherwise not bad. If you're using it for close range, beautiful. Um, quick easy to sort of uh, handle not very bulky except that uh, mag there at the front uh, yeah probably be a bit hard to get into a holster otherwise not a bad blaster certainly um, certainly one that I'd sort of like to play a little bit more with but definitely something that you know if you could probably upgrade a little bit to get a bit more of a range would be a plus Alright, thanks for watching guys, uh, keep at it, like our page and uh, keep out a lookout for the next one, thanks.